Okay, on this short video I'm going to show you how to send a global email to all of the students you have enrolled on your course on C4. Now for this purpose I've created a dummy course and some dummy students uh, for security reasons. So I've, I've created a course called English 101 in the miscellaneous category. So I'm going to go to the miscellaneous category Notice at the minute I'm not logged in, and so therefore if I click on English 101, which is my dummy course at the moment, uh, it's going to ask me to log in. So if you're not logged in, just log in, and if you don't know how to get to uh, C4 on the internet, just go to a Google search box and type C4 Coquitlam, and it will take you straight there. Click on the first link. Right, so now your username will be your first name, all in lowercase. If your first name has already been taken by a student, your username is your first name followed by the first letter of your last name. And that's all one word, lowercase, no spaces. So I'm going to pa type in my password. By the way, if you forget your, username, uh, your username or your password, click on this button and it will help you to get your, your details back. So once you've typed in your details, log in, it takes you to your course. This is my course. Now, at the moment, of course, I haven't set anything up. And at the moment, we're in the current week, which is today with the 9th of March. And uh, so I'm going to show you, firstly, how to send a global email to all the participants in the course. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to upload a file. And in the following video, I'm going to show you how to back up your course so that if for any reason um, the system completely fails and your course has been lost we can always reinstall the system and you can reinstall your course from your backup file. Okay so now I'm going to show you how to do a global email. Click on participants and you'll see a list of all the people on the course. This is the instructor. These are students. Now, of course, they've never actually entered the course because these are never, these are not real students. However, if these were real students and they have been participating on the course, you'll see the time when they were last accessing the course. And that's quite useful information. You can see which students are actually coming into C4 and doing some work on a course and those students who rarely come into the course. Okay, so now I want to send a global email. How do I do it? I need to select, make sure that all of these are selected. Now I don't need to go through the full list by hand, I just select all. And then with selected users, click on the button and send message. You'll then see a little edit box where you can type in your message. So I'm just going to say, please bring your textbook to class tomorrow. Okay, that's a good enough message. And now I'm going. I think this message is good. So C4 or Moodle will insist that you preview your message just to give you a second chance to make sure everything is looking good. If you're happy with that, just click on Send Message, and your message will then be sent to all of your students. If you're not, if you want to make a change, just click on update and then it'll allow you to change your message before you send it. Now you'll see a little loading message and then when your message has been sent to the recipient list, then you'll see this new screen. Selected users have been messaged and the recipient list has been reset. This then you can either go back to your list of participants or click in any of the available links to here I'll just go back to the course. Okay, so that's how to send a global email. In the next short movie, I'm going to show you how to upload a file to C4. And the following movie, I'll show you how to back up your course.